Hello there. Good to see you again. Welcome back to another session on Java programming. So in this session, we're going to take a look at uh, nested switch cases in Java. So this is one concept that I learned today morning. The moment I learned it, I just wanted to share this concept with you. So I got an example here and uh, through this example, we'll be able to understand what nested switch cases are. So let's go to the demonstration straight away. So the concept for today's class is a nested switch cases in Java. So what is that we are going to do here is we will uh, fetch the country from the user. We'll ask the user to enter his country. Once when he enters his country, using switch case, we'll go to that specific country that the user has entered. And then we'll ask him to enter the state for that country. Once when the user enters the state, what we'll do is we'll display some messages for the state using a nested switch case. I know that may I know that might be a little confusing, but you'll understand this as and when we complete this code. The first thing is we'll ask the user to enter the country. So for this, I, I should be having a scanner object to get the input from the console. So scanner, I'll call this object as uh, obj and system.in. Okay, so we are reading the input from the console. For this, I have uh, created a scanner object. And next thing is, uh, we'll ask the user, we'll have a message to the user saying, enter your country, something like this. And uh, we'll get the country from the user, string country. That we'll fetch it using uh, the object dot input, object dot next line, I'm sorry. It's uh, next line. So that's the method we are going to use for fetching in that uh, country. Once when the user enters the country, we'll use that in a switch uh, statement. So switch country. So this is the outer switch block. And uh, here we'll have a case statement. So based on the country he enters, say for, in, for instance, if he enters India, what we will say, we will say sys out. Great, you are from India. Oh, you are from India. And then we'll now ask the user to enter his uh, state so he he belongs to india now now we'll ask the user to enter his state so we'll have a sysout statement uh, again enter your state and now the user is going to enter his state for this we'll use this string called uh, state and uh, its uh, object name is obj dot next line so he enters it he enters the state. So this is what happens when the user enters uh, the country as India. Likewise, we can also have another uh, country here. Uh, let me finish the outer switch case. So country, uh, we'll have that to be Russia. And uh, we'll say this out. We'll say your country is Russia. And we will break here. So. This is the syntax of a switch case, right? You have a case statement and then obviously you should have a break statement so that we execute the set of statements here and then we break out and we come outside the switch case. See outside my switch case, I have the sysout sys statement saying uh, thanks for using our software. Okay, so this is our outer switch case. Uh, we'll also have a default uh, statement saying sysout uh, you have entered the wrong country. Say if he is not going to enter India or Russia, we will say you have entered the wrong country. And then we will break. So this is the outer switch block. You can very well see that here. This is the outer switch block. And uh, we are going to have another switch block for case India alone. Say when he enters the state, based on his state, I am going to have a switch case here. Switch of state. So we're going to get the state and case say when he enters state to be Tamil Nadu, we'll say this out. It's in the southern part of India. Some info we will give and then we'll break. Likewise, if he enters any other state, for instance, uh, Rajasthan, what we will say here is uh, system.out.println or else uh, sysout shortcut always <laughs> so sysout 
it's in the northern part of India. Again, we'll go for a break. We'll also have a default for our inner switch case that is default. We will say um, no such state exists. No such state exists. Okay, and then we'll break. So this default is for the, this is the inner switch block and this default is for the inner switch block. So let me just go through this code again. We are getting the country. Based on the country, we are having a switch block. Say if he enters India, the group of statements here will execute. If he enters Russia, the group of statements here will execute. If he enters any other country, the default case will execute. Say in case if he enters India, so we are going to come here, create you are from India and we will ask him to enter a state. After he enters his state, we'll get that state. And based on the state, we have a inner switch block here. So case is Tamil Nadu. So when, when he enters Tamil Nadu, we'll say it's in the southern part of India. If he enters Rajasthan, we're going to say it's in the northern part of India. If he enters any other state, we'll say no such state exists. So this is uh, what our uh, entire code is all about. And uh, after executing this, the system is going to say thanks for using our software. So now let's uh, take a look at the execution part of this. We'll execute all the test cases for the outer switch case. So control S and control F11. Enter your country. So what happens? Enter your country, India. Maybe we'll come to India at the end, uh, Russia. Your country is Russia. Thanks for using our software. Okay, that's fine. Let's uh, try and execute the default block in the outer switch case. So let me run this code again and uh, now country I will say US this is not part of a switch block so it's going to go to the default you have entered the wrong country now let's enter India let's check the cases for India so here we're going to enter India and uh, enter a state so India and great you're from India enter your state Tamil Nadu so it's going to say it's in the southern part of India thanks for using our software what happens if we enter Rajasthan? Let me execute this code again. Enter your country. Now India and Rajasthan. We'll check for the next test case. India and Rajasthan. So it's going to say it's in the northern part of India. Thanks for using our software. Finally, we'll execute the default for our inner switch block too. So we'll enter India and then we'll enter Karnataka. We'll enter India instead of saying Karnataka. Uh, let's 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 give an invalid name here. Let's not go with the state and say no such state exists. So let's not offend anybody. So let me say H G K something like that. No such state exists. Thanks for using our software. So an interesting concept. You have you have learned about nested if else. The same way you can also have nested switch cases. So you see here. You can nest a switch case within another switch case block and the number of uh, levels also you can have many levels of nesting here that's what i understand but since we have that provision i don't recommend nesting many levels of uh, switch blocks uh, within each other because maintenance of that kind of a code will be very difficult so uh, though we have this option of nesting switch blocks uh, i would recommend all of you to use it very wisely with that uh, we are coming to an end of the session i hope you're comfortable with nested switch cases now. And this was quite an interesting concept. I enjoyed learning this and I'm, I really enjoyed sharing this concept with you. Thanks a lot for listening. We'll catch you up in the next session. Take care.